Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time Material. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Hello, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you. I appreciate you. Don't forget the $20 special readings that I got going on for the month of August. You do have to be a subscriber. You do have to comment. Um, you can either text me, call me, and my number is in the description box. Or you can email me at tugins, H-U-G-I-N-S, 1031 at gmail.com. We're here doing a video for um, Taurus. This is a general reading. It's for someone rising and Venus. Taurus, I've already shuffled sage, prayed over the cards, and laid them down for time purposes. So, Taurus, as I'm shuffling, meditating over your cards, some of you guys have a decision here to make in a commitment or in a marriage here some of you think some of you guys are thinking about walking away from something here i'm feeling that we have your oracle card from the wisdom of the oracle is orphaned some of you guys are feeling abandoned in a relationship i mean in a commitment or in a marriage okay um, you're feeling left out in the cold. Um, I feel that you guys are not getting the attention that you're wanting in, in, the, in this situation, in a partnership. Your Romance Angels cards are passion. So you do have a lot of passion for this person that you're dealing with. This is allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. But we also have codependency here. This is addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I think some of you guys are dealing with a situation where, I mean, bottom line is your partner, or this could be you, Taurus, someone has some addictions here. Someone could be codependent on you, or you could be codependent on them. There could be some obsessions. I'm not sure, you know, what it, what, what your story is, but somebody is feeling that they're not getting what they need in this situation here because somebody is um, not paying that, they ain't giving that attention that they're supposed to get. This is your overall energy. So let's move on. I don't want to stay there too long because, wow. Um, your situation is the emperor. This is a married person, of course. This could be a boss, a CEO, a father figure here. This emperor, this is a married person, but what's crossing the emperor is the nine of pentacles. So maybe somebody got out of a marriage because they wanted to be single. Your foundation is the ego card. Somebody is very, I mean, has a big ego, very materialistic type of person. This person possibly feel trapped. This is a false sense of entrapment. There could be some manipulation going on here with the five of swords here. Somebody could just be, you know, playing mind games here with somebody. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn on the board. Aries. Um. But it looks like you guys want to work on this situation. With the Eight of Pentacles here, the Eight of Heart, Eight of Earth. Um, and, and you could just be working hard, you know, trying to master something here. This is definitely your energy, Taurus, working hard. Or you're wanting to work on the situation that you're in. But you're juggling the idea of it or you're just juggling, period. Money, bills. 
could be trying to get balanced here. You, you possibly got a whole lot on your plate that you're trying to balance out too. But you could be juggling the idea, like I said, of staying in a situation or leaving a situation here. Because your overall is unity. This is a commitment card. This is a marriage card. Your outcome is unity. Uh, unity. Um, six of swords. This is moving to calmer waters out of a, you know, coming out of a situation. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we got the queen of swords. So that's why I say you're possibly juggling the idea of cutting something out. We have the tower here. Something that's not grounded, something that's not stable. Universe will step in unless you resolve a situation. Looks like somebody is heavily guarded here. Standing their ground on a situation here. There's definitely a decision here that you have to make, Taurus. A head over heart decision. It's a big decision here that you got to make. Could be fussing and fighting, you know, going on. Could be some competition around. I'm just feeling that you're wanting to turn your back on something. But let's get some more information and see what... Get you just a little bit more information here. Cards are definitely one to talk. The sun card popped out, and I'm going to let it stay out because at the end of the day, you know, something can be worked out here. It's going to be okay. This is the most positive card in the tarot deck. This is opportunities coming in. This is the sun will be shining on this situation here. This is God is looking over you. Could be children involved here. It's a possibility. Why is the emperor here? So, we have the Five of Pentacles. You got the Five of Pentacles as your overall energy, feeling left out in the cold. You know, abandoned. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Two of Swords. This is being indecisive about possibly wanting to be single. This is not looking at a situation for what it really is. This is, you know, hiding behind something. Not making that decision. Why is the ego card here? Why is the ego card here? We have the eight of coins. Whoever is in their ego, they want to work on this situation. This could be you or your partner. Why is the eight of pentacles here? You got the eight of pentacles here twice on the table. Someone definitely wants to work on this situation because they love you. With the Ace of Cups being here, they do have a lot of love for you. They got a lot of passion for you. This could be you, Taurus. You love this person. Some of you guys are going to have new love coming in. And when I said there could be children involved, some of you guys could be expected. If that's the case, congratulations. Some of you guys have moved into a new home here. Why is the five of air here? Ooh, we got the moon card. There's some secrets here. Why is the moon card here? This is in your near past. Why is the moon card here? Wow. We got the six of coins, clarifying the moon card, and the knight of cups. Okay, so this is really not this is really not bad because the moon, what could be hidden is that this somebody wants to propose to someone here and and they want to give equal give and take here okay with the six of pentacles here this could definitely be hidden because as i was shuffling your oracles i did see an exchange of gifts that could be you know a, a an engagement ring that somebody's going to be expecting and and also when i don't know what october october came out of my mouth so you know, as I as when I'm doing readings, whatever happens within that reading, it means something, okay? So October, there could be something special going on in October for you, Taurus. So just keep your eyes open for that. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles. We got the Five of Swords. <sighs> um. This could be you in your head, 
you know, Virg I'm Taurus. This could be you, you know, in your mind. We got the Nine of Cups clarifying the Five of Swords. This is definitely emotional. This person emotionally fulfills you. This is a wish fulfillment for you or your partner. Or you are a wish fulfillment for your partner. Definitely wants to work on this situation. But somebody is, is in their head doing a lot of thinking here. Could be overthinking a, this situation. Why is a nine of cups here? Nine of cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio. We got the three of cups. This is celebration. This is coming together with friends. So you, you're going to have something to celebrate here, Taurus. But you need to come out your head. We don't need you self-sabotaging anything here. Because whatever it is, it's, it can be worked out. It definitely can be worked out. Because first of all, you got God on your side or whoever you guys pray to is definitely on your side here. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? We have the Eight of Swords. Yep, you're in your head. You feel stuck. Uh-huh. You feel stuck. Why is the Eight of Swords? Why is the Eight of Swords here? We have the Two of Wands. You don't know if you want to go on your own. You don't know if you you and, and you you don't know if you want to walk away. You're juggling the idea though. You're juggling the idea of walking off here from this situation. Why is the six of swords? Why is the six of swords here? This is going to move into common waters here. The six of swords is being clarified by the strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo. But you're being strong. You, you're, you're controlling your emotions. You don't. You're not. You're not bursting. It feels like you really want to talk about something, and you, and you just like you know, being calm about it. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? The three of pentacles. This is com collaborating with somebody. Possibly, maybe you're talking to somebody about your situation at your job or something like that. Or maybe that's six of coins. Why is the six of coins here? Why is the six of coins here? Six of coins. Magician. You're manifesting the things that you want. Four of coins. Why is the unity card here? Why is the unity card here? Why is the unity card here? We have the two of cups. This is definitely, you know, a pretty strong partnership. You guys are on the same page. You see eye to eye. But someone has issues here. And you know that someone has issues here. Why is the two of cups here? The will of fortune. Something here is destined, Taurus. This is good fortune. This is um, karma, destiny. Why is the will of fortune here? Why is the will of fortune here? This is, you know, big happy changes coming in. We got the four swords. It's time for you to rest, meditate on this situation. Why is the four swords? The fool. This is taking a, that leap of faith. Ten of Pentacles. I think everything is going to be okay here. This is the financial security. This is taking, this is building with someone here. At the bottom of the deck, we got Five of Cups. This is regretting something. But all is not lost here. You have your Two of Cups. Why is the Ten of Coins here? One more. Why is the Ten of Coins here? Ten of Coins. The Page of Wands. This is a nice, this is a message that's going to come in and it's going to make you happy. At the bottom of the deck, we got the King of Swords. This is truth coming in. This is communication coming in from a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. 
Taurus. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.